The film Temblores is a Spanish language film that explores the life of a man from a deeply religious family who leaves his wife for another man. This film tackles the societal stigmas and deeply held family structures, among many other things. The star of the film, Juan Pablo Olislager, is here to talk all about this. Nice to have you Hi, here. Hi, Juan Pablo. How are you doing? Well, this this movie is intense at just just from the very reading of the the, the intro. Yeah. So tell tough. me a little bit about how you got involved and how you prepared for this character. Well, uh, Jairo Bustamante was looking for the lead role, and I was doing uh, some theater in, in Guatemala, and I did a very good play that's called 12 Angry Men. Probably you, you watched mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the movies from the 50s. Yeah. It's a fantastic uh, uh, a piece. So Jairo went to watch it, and he, he was interested in, in casting me. So mm -hmm. then the casting process started, and uh, after several weeks of painful uh, auditions, mm -hmm. <laughs> I got the role. Yeah. And, and let's talk about the themes of the movie, because, I mean, this is this is something that happens, but in you know the Latin culture, there is a lot of stigma attached to a lot. yeah, a lot. and it's different than what we deal with in the states. I mean, it's still hard here, but mm -hmm. it's it's especially taboo, I yeah. would say, in the it, Latin yes. culture. So this movie really explores that. Yeah, it explores that. It's based on a true story, so that's very interesting. I met the real Pablo. Pablo, Pablo is the character that I play. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, he had a very hard time uh, dealing with this because yeah. in, in, in countries like Guatemala and Latin American conservative societies, uh, you, you brought up uh, sometimes like with a cookie cutter, you know? Everybody has to be the same uh, and you start living a life that is not your own. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, this Pablo uh, started having a, a relationship with a girl, a high school sweetheart probably. Uh, he made a life with her, had a beautiful family. Yeah. Well, all, all of a sudden he realized that he was building a, a, a castle out of sand and he started coming, falling, falling down. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's when the movie begins. Right. You know, when the, and you come to grips with that in the film, and and and, and the man is and Pablo is tortured by what he's he's torn between yeah. the the two sides of, of who he is. And tell me about that point in the film where he makes the decision to make the break and what that does to his life. Well, when you watch the movie, you're gonna see that is not a coming out movie. Uh, the movie begins where it is already public. Uh, and we don't know, and it's not relevant to the story, oh. whether Pablo, uh, the character, told his family or if he was caught. No. Oh, wow. So, really, the movie's about the aftermath of what happens when people get to know uh, about your sexual uh, identity. Tell me about the real Pablo. Uh huh. Um, how is, how, I mean, how much involvement did he have in this movie? Was he hands on? Is it still tough for him? Or is he it, it is. It, it is. It was initially based on this Pablo that I'm telling you about, and then Jairo Bustamante, who is the director, mm -hmm. uh, he started get, getting to know other Pablos. Uh -huh. So that's an interesting thing that the movie is actually a collage of, of these many Pablos, but mm -hmm. they started with this one. So yeah, this Pablo right. was 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 involved. I actually talked with him, uh, and he told me his story, which is a wow. painful, painful story because you are being oppressed by everybody. Yeah. By your family, by your re religion and church, by work, you could get fired yeah. in Guatemala your for friends. being gay. Yeah. You know, your friends, exactly. Yeah, the society they, around you. They don't want to be neighbors. related to you. Right. Yeah. So, so it's a very good movie, I, I think, and I think that uh, these kind of stories happen here in the states as well. Of course. There was a movie called um, what's the name? It started Russell Crowe, uh, Nicole Kidman, uh, Boy Erased. Oh. So yeah. that happens in, in a happens deeply here? conservative states. Sure. And the movie also talks about uh, conversion therapies, which oh. still happen in yeah, some places. Yeah. yeah, they do. Absolutely. So, so s since this film is, t touches this very sensitive subject for Latin American cultures, how is it being received? How is the film? W what's been your response in the audience and what, what kind of feedback have you gotten? Mostly fantastic reviews and, and feedback from the audiences because they realize that it's a deeply touching story. Mm -hmm. It is not, many people have um, misconceptions of what a, a, a gay person is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. uh, the movie also shows that some people like to um, uh, put homosexuality with pedophilia at the same level, yeah. which is absurd. So I just think that the movie does a good job in showing what a gay person uh, struggles uh, in life, especially in conservative societies. And I think audiences identify with it, even if they don't agree with, uh, 
with homosexuals. And 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 this is a Spanish language film. It is subtitled, right? So it is, American, it's, it's going to be yeah. here, so people here can watch it and still enjoy yeah. and still understand yeah. where yeah. the the movie's coming from. Yeah, and the movie has traveled the world. The movie right. is a Guatemalan, French, and Luxembourg production, uh -huh. but it was shot in Guatemala. Uh, but with this fantastic director, Jairo Bustamante, who has won many prizes in the in the main uh, festivals uh -huh. in the world, like Berlin and, and Venice recently. <clears throat> and uh, the movie has been traveling everywhere. And now it's, it's, it's commercially showing in, in the States. In, and we can find cities. it where? On the website? In www.filmmovement.com slash temblores. Okay. Right. You're going to see the, the calendar there. And it's going to be showing um, on DVD, Blu-ray, and uh, video on demand pretty soon. Well, Very we appreciate good. you being here, Juan Pablo. Thank you. Nice Thank to you. meet you. Success to you. And uh, enjoy Los Angeles. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> nice it. to have you here. We'll be right back.